Hey there, I'm Ken, that's Tig, this is CRT, welcome. Welcome to an episode about a printer. Specifically, it's this printer. This is a printer for my TRS-80 computers. It's a TRS-80 TP10 printer. I received this in a big box of uh, TRS-80 stuff that I received off, uh, that I bought off of eBay a little while ago. I did a video about uh, what all I got in that box. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll put a link up there. Put a link down there. It's worth checking out. Uh, but yeah, today we're going to look at this printer. So let's get started. And here is the TRS-80 TP10 printer. This is a thermal printer. There's not much to it. You've got one button on the front for paper feed power switch on the side, nothing on the other side, and on the back one connector. So this connects through the serial I.O. port on your computer and uh, like I said it's a thermal printer so it prints both uh, characters and graphics but only in black and white and um, a little different from other printers of its time uh, being thermal it is very very quiet you don't get the screeching clankety clank like you do with uh, printers like the image writer and other ones like that from what i could tell this printer costs about a hundred dollars brand new it prints on what is it it's four and one eighth inch wide thermal paper which is um, very difficult to find nowadays although it is exactly one half of a fax paper uh, thermal roll so if you can cut one of those perfectly in half you've got paper for these uh, printers luckily mine came with a bit of paper in it so I can uh, show you what it can do the footprint of the printer itself is very small. It is 3 inches by 8 inches by 5 inches. So it uh, is actually very ideal for using with your uh, MC10 computer, but also works on the Coco computers. I'm going to be showing you what it can do on my Coco 3 computer. This is a program I just quickly wrote up to uh, show you what it looks like when it prints graphics and characters on the printer. First off, I'm going to put it on the screen so that you get to see what it looks like. And uh, here you can see that I've had to print each line out individually because of course it's going to be feeding it line by line to the printer as the program's running. Um, just using regular print statements here. So this is what it looks like. So combining some graphics and some text. So now I have loaded in the program that I am going to be sending to the printer. And if you look at it, all the print statements have changed to print number dash two comma and then the uh, line. So that's telling it to send the uh, whatever is in the print statement to the printer rather to, than to the screen. If I was doing this on the MC10 it would just be L print and then uh, the uh, print statement and then whatever you want to send to the printer. So that's a little bit different, be different between the Coco computers and the MC10 computer. Now if we run this, we'll see it come out on the printer. And one thing you can see is that it is printing in both capital and small letters. So 
So there you go. Um, as you can see, the uh, graphics, it doesn't distinguish between colors. It just prints them all in black and white, but that is uh, the graphics printed out there. Another useful thing that uh, you can do with this, if you want to uh, get a hard copy of the program you've written, not just its output, you L list it. And that will print out your program rather than to the screen, to the printer. And here comes my cat's head to see what's going on. Is it kitty approved? Yes, it's kitty approved. And the cat wants to use the printout as a toy. Oh, he's interested in learning how to use this old equipment. Yes, I guess this is an official retro cat. Well, there you have it, a quick look at the TRS-80 TP-10 thermal printer. Now, does it have a place in today's society? Is it at all useful? Not really. Um, the thing that makes it worth having is that it does have some entertainment value, and it is also an interesting piece of history. It's a low-cost printer um, that is actually fairly well-built that uh, um, was out there getting printers into the people's homes that were on the lower end of the computer spectrum and couldn't afford those, you know, thousand dollar plus printers like the Image Writer and all that, that for the Apple or printers like that. So you were able to have a printer in your house for a very cheap amount. And that's what makes it interesting. Now, it is something that is going to make a very nice addition to my uh, retro computer collection. It's going to be proudly displayed. But uh, yeah, am I going to use it very often? Not really. But, you know, I'm happy to have it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, video about this printer. And by the way, for those of you that are interested, the cat that kept popping up in the video, that's Tig. He's just like that. Anyways, um, if you did enjoy this video, you know what you can do with the liking, subscribing, and or commenting below because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated. But uh, yeah, I am going to go and play with some other retro computer stuff. So I will see you next time.